I had my ups and downs and I struggled. Christelle Smith once battled drug addiction. I didn't have the family to support me like I thought they would support me. And I had a sister that I was really close to and she passed away in my arms in the hospital. Smith eventually lost everything, ending up homeless. And one day I just got tired. I just got tired. Taking back control started with a connection to Transition Projects, an organization helping people go from homelessness to housing with programs and resources. I kept all my appointments. I done what I needed to do. And I said to myself, either I'm going to be out by my birthday, I'm going to be out July the 20th, at the end of July. Smith first checked into Transition Projects in June of 2019. The next month, she left the shelter to live in her own apartment. I felt like giving up. You know, I got so overwhelmed. She credits her case manager, Therese O'Neill Kunkel, for her success. There she is! There she is! <laughs> Honestly, that's the quickest I've ever housed anybody. She went out and did the legwork, and boom, there we go. And she's in a wonderful apartment now. And shelter life is a memory. Smith has lived in her own apartment for a year and will be seven years clean in December. She is now back at Transition Projects on another mission. Give back to the shelter because the shelter helped me. Smith is now a meal provider, purchasing, preparing and serving guests at the shelter. It is incredibly inspiring when clients, um, when past participants want to come back and, and give back as volunteers. Emily Coleman with Transition Project says Smith has so far helped dozens. And just completed her second meal for 60 other people who are experiencing homelessness. It makes me feel good inside. I feel that this is a calling for me to do. And I try to help people as much as I can. A transition from homelessness to housing, now returning regularly to pay it forward. Christelle Kumwe, KGW News.